thought I'd do a different kind of video today. I'm going to be doing uh, how I'm packing for Asia and what to bring when going backpacking to Asia. And kind of like a little mini review of the new backpack I got um, that I'll be bringing with me. Uh, this isn't, uh, you don't have to agree with me on what to bring for Asia and how to backpack or uh, what to bring with you. This is just kind of like what I'm bringing with me, what my basic necessities that I want in my backpack. Um, so I'll be kind of just like showing that and see if it all goes in my backpack and I'll be bringing that on my next trip with me and just kind of a bit of the uh, uh, equipment, camera gear that I'll be bringing with me this time to be making my new Trek and Beyond videos. So uh, let's get started. All right, I'll start with my main backpack here. It's uh, 65 liters. Um, it's made by Jack Wolfskin. It's called the Freeman 65. Um, I, sp I spent the last four years in Germany. I was living there and doing my apprenticeship and I got to know the brand Jack Wolfskin. They're pretty good quality. They make a lot of good travel stuff. And this is their new bag here. It's a new line of bags. Um, I never really see any reviews on them anywhere on YouTube so I thought I'd kind of do like a mini review of it today and just kind of show you what it is and the one cool thing I like about it is that in the back here uh, there's a little slip cover that comes up and like protects all the straps here so when you have to put it on an airplane um, protects it really well but I'll show you that and I'll go through that that's one thing I thought was really cool about this backpack that's what made me want to get it and then I'll start over here so these are all the things that I need in my backpack or I find necessary to bring with me on my travels uh, I'll do a little kinda main overview here and I'll start off with uh, a sleeping bag and then I have a little blanket here I just I took this with me from a Air China flight. It was just like a plain little blanket that I like bringing with me when I travel. Just putting it on the ground or just anywhere. Just having that is pretty good. I got my uh, rain cover for my backpack. This just comes out of the bag and just goes over the backpack. Uh, these are pretty awesome. You don't want to bring like a actual towel with you because they're heavy. They get wet. They don't dry fast. This micro towel takes all the water off you dries really fast put it back in your bag and you're ready to go so here's like a little foldable portable pillow um, it's like mom uh, memory foam it's pretty cool like just want to bring your own pillow with you just have it with you you know this I think it's a good idea and then I got my I'm not putting these in the backpack with me they're just my travel shoes um, I just wanted some nice runners that are like really comfortable because I'll be walking a lot every day. Just want to have a comfortable shoe that make my <laughs> uh, many hours of walking comfortable. So so yeah. Then I got my hiking shoes. I'll be bringing those when I go in the mountains or some kind of off-road trekking or just anywhere like that. It's really important to have um, a water bottle with you all the time. Uh, this is made from aluminum. It's like a nice Swiss brand. Uh, I don't know. I don't like plastic bottles, so if this keeps the water in here cool, it's a good idea to have. Um, flip flops. I'll be going to uh, Southeast Asia, South China, North China. I'll, so I kind of have to like bring shoes for like kind of all kinds of weather here. These are for like when I go to Thailand for the beach or like even when you're at a hostel you don't want to step on the ground in the showers just I like to put those on. These are like just plastic bags when I have like dirty old laundry I just like to put them in the plastic bag seal them up so it doesn't make my backpack small. I think that's a pretty good idea to always have something like this just to put your old laundry it doesn't make your backpack small. Just a toiletry bag, put all the toiletries in here, shampoo, toothbrush, just all in one place, like a little nice portable bag, goes right in there, easy access. Um, here's my Swiss Army knife, a little light with LEDs, it's good if you're like in your hostel room or you don't have light anywhere, you want to look through your bag or something, just turn this on, it's just nice bright light. 
a money pouch that I put around my waist. I don't always use that, it depends where I go, I'll put that on. Uh, we'll move over here to um, my clothes. I got a couple of pairs of shorts here and swimming shorts. Um, just some long sleeve uh, plaid sh uh, shirts when it gets cold. A bit cooler outside, I like to put those on. Over here, this is a winter jacket. It's like made from duck feather. It's really cool. I really recommend this. It's just kind of like folds up and like goes into this little bag. It's really portable, really nice to go in that backpack. It's warm, you know, when it gets cold, you put that on, take it out of the bag and put it back in. It's really, really good idea. Got my t-shirts here, some uh, tank tops for when I go on the beach in Thailand, for example. Got my raincoat, just a basic North Face raincoat and just like a zip up just when it gets cold out uh, put that on zip it up windbreaker or something like that um, I'll show you my day pack here you want to make sure you well at least I have like a good day pack with you because you want to when you leave that at the hostel you want to have like things with you that you don't want to leave where you want to take with you so I always bring like a nice day pack with me put my camera in there my laptop in there or just anything you want to take with you that you want to do in that that day or something so you don't always have to carry around your big backpack and then I'll just show you my electronics and like camera gear and stuff that I'll be bringing to film my Trekking Beyond episodes so the camera I'm using is um, it's this Sony camera here, it's the uh, DSC-HX80. It's a really nice camera for vlogging, it has like a flip screen so when you're pointing the camera at you, you can see what you're, yourself, what you're filming. Um, yeah, I did quite a bit of research on it, it's like nice HD videos, uh, just like a good vlogging camera so I thought I'd give it a shot. I got my portable hard drive here, my MacBook from when I'm editing videos, maybe I'll just have some downtime, just sit in my hostel or something, just edit some videos that I've made. This here is like a little uh, bag here that I keep all my chargers, plugs, my camera's gonna go in here. Um, all my chargers and plugs are in there. My Gorilla tripod. And I got this little portable charger here. It's good to have this on the go, just to charge your camera, your iPod, your phone, bring it to you, bring it with you in the airport. It's got three USBs there. It's a good idea to have that. And on the side here, I just got my memory cards and extra battery and stuff like that. So as you can see, it's like, because I'll be going to like uh, China and Southeast Asia and like end of August, September, October, so going to be going to warm places, cold places, so I'd have to have kind of like a variety of different things I need to bring with me. Um, usually I can fit that all in there, it fits in nice. And uh, yeah, so now we'll try to like get everything in there and see what it looks like. Alright, so this is what the bag looks like all packed up, ready to go. I got it all in there. It's my day pack there. Um, yeah, so what I want to show you next is uh, is the what I meant. Uh, we can just cover this up. It's like good for protection. So I'll just I'll show you what, what I mean by that. All right, so uh, yeah, for example, if um, uh, you can't bring your bag on the on the plane with you. You have to check it in. For example, I'll be checking this in if I'll be going traveling and stuff. Um, and uh, the one good thing about this is there's this little slip over here. 
and it just comes out of the bottom of the bag and you just pull it over here and uh, you kind of just zip it up Then zip up the other side. And there you go. That's the back of the backpack. It just uh, protects all your straps in there so they don't get damaged. When the workers at the airport, they like throw your bag or gets caught onto something. It'll just stay in there, nice and protected. You know, just put in your backpack like this, and that's what really turned me on to this backpack. Is just I thought that was pretty cool, you know, just having that back there so it won't get damaged or anything. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope it maybe can help you um, when you pack for your trip for wherever you go and you, wherever you're going backpacking. Just like I said, it's kind of my own personal opinion of how I should pack. I'm not telling you. You should pack this way or anything and just kind of give people an idea of what I'm bringing my next uh, Trek and Beyond episodes and how I'm packing forward and kind of just like what I'm bringing and stuff like that. So yeah, so I hope you enjoyed it and uh, stay tuned. I'll be putting more Trek and Beyond episodes up, hopefully while I travel, um, get a few episodes up in there and then if not then I'll just edit all them when I come back and put them up slowly and then for you guys to enjoy hopefully enjoy so thanks again and see you guys